I'm dreaming in dreams bigger than me. Taking my time, giving to me. Paint my life into a masterpiece. Coloring it how I want it to be. Hi, everyone. All right, today I'm going to be using something that I have not done a video with before. I only used this for the first time a few days ago just to uh, see how it was going to work. This is the Tim Holtz Ranger Alloy Color Rose. And I've, I've been so frustrated with my brass, the pinata brass lately, that I started looking for other things to try. And this in my, you know, quick 30 second experiment that I did with it the other day, it actually did float at that time. So hopefully it will now. Um, so anyway, kind of Halloween-y colors today, I guess. Uh, I've got black, or, well, pitch black, coral, and vineyard all in the Ranger line. Um, and this is my 99.9% .9 isopropyl alcohol. My 500 watt Revlon styling brush hair dryer with the brush attachment removed. <laughs> you know, I feel like I say this. I mean, it's just the same things over and over. And my Fordham foot pedal to use to control uh, turning it to on and off. And, um, and the speed of it. So, all right, let's see what we can do here today. I just have been, uh, I don't know, having a terrible time lately with my paintings. And, I mean, part of it, I think, is from taking a long time away from them. But I think also part of it is I am so concerned about making one that is um, something that you all are going to like that I'm I'm way too uptight about what I'm doing now. I'm I'm too hard on myself and I'm too it has to be absolutely perfect and so I've got to figure out a way to just let that go because I can't um I can't work like that. <laughs> Most people can't. It's not that any of you try to micromanage me or you know or the way I'm doing painting. So that's not it at all. It's just uh it's me doing it to myself. Um, I'm really good at that. <laughs> Just being too hard on myself and expecting uh, unreal, or having unreal expectations, I guess. So, I don't know if y'all can see it. You see how it's floating? One thing I did discover, though, is if I work it too much, it does blend in pretty easily. So I'm kind of staying back here because I want to keep it... I don't want to keep blowing it this way too much, just a little bit. Just to give some of that, uh, that rose a chance to kind of build up there, kind of dam up together right there. And staying off in the distance and just drying the ink from off in the distance is a good way to help it do that. So see, this doesn't dry as shiny as the brass did or the brass used to before it did whatever it's doing now um but it's still it's very shimmery pretty pretty <laughs> spit the words out um just sort of metallic rose gold coppery kind of color it's really pretty copper is one of my favorite um metallic colors i guess you could say uh so I'm I'm happy that this one will do that. I'm sorry I keep like touching bottles because I can't. 
decide exactly what I want to do. I kind of wanted that black to be a little darker than it is. Sorry, let me dry this a little more. Um, you can see where I had left it here. I started getting some of those water spots in there. It is the humidity here is just a touch higher than usual today, so I'll get that easier. Although, since it is fall, that's just kind of what happens around here a lot in the fall. All right, let's see. <laughs> that was, uh, I got lucky there. I wasn't paying close attention as I was reaching across and I let my dryer just blow on the ink without paying any attention to what I was doing. Oh, this that I'm painting on today is uh, Graphics Opaque White Craft Plastic. You know, one of my favorites to use. Because this does not stain. I mean, this, you might be able to stain it if you set out to deliberately do it. But I'm not even sure if you could stain it then. This is one, and, and cost-wise, it's one of the cheaper things that you can use as well. I'm just totally covering up my black, and I didn't mean to do that, but... Uh, I can't even remember how much I paid for this now. I got it in a 25-pack. This is the 9 by 12 um, Got a 25-pack of it. Oh, my goodness. I want to say around seventeen or eighteen dollars, but I could be I could be totally wrong about that. Um, but it, it is uh, very cost effective, in my opinion. It is one of the cheapest good products to paint on that I have found. Uh, you can get it on Amazon. I think I actually have it linked in the video below. I'll try to remember to check. I, I know I have it linked in some of my videos, so hopefully I'll uh, have had it in this one. Uh, anyway, to, uh, to Amazon, where if you all shop through those links, I do get a tiny commission off of it, which definitely helps me. Kind of a way to help support me and my channel and my art supply addiction. <laughs> I try not to um, spend too much of like, our money, my husband, my husband's money, on art supplies. I try to use what I've made from YouTube and Amazon to buy things. So those little bits of commission do help. They really do. This is just super cool. <laughs> the I, I don't know what I was really expecting, but it's doing a lot of, I'm trying to get this where y'all can see. Oh, there you go. A lot of blending in with the ink, which it's just leaving a super cool shimmer on there to me. So, um, I really like the way that that's, that's doing that. It's leaving a lot more than I expected to, considering I've been using one drop at a time with my ink color, I was not expecting for it to leave that much color behind, or that much metallic behind.
see if we can pick some of it back up. You just never know what things are going to do. Well, picked up a lot of that black with that coral that time. And that has made a pretty color. my frustrated grumping to myself. I didn't mean to do that. I had wanted to leave that black there. I didn't want to pick it up. So I may try and go back in there with a little more black. Fill that in. sorry to those of you who you know keep waiting on videos and it's taking me so long to get them out I mean I've got lots of excuses <laughs> but um, you know it's just hard to do it's just hard to find time and still have family time as well I have like I think it's either three or four videos in my video editor right now that I need to do voiceovers on and because I just I've had no chance to do um, a video like this where it, you know I'm speaking as I'm doing uh, here at the house in Washington I have to work in the kitchen at the kitchen table on my paintings and so um, either the girls are in here doing schoolwork or um, it's time to clean or my husband's home from work and he's watching TV and uh, which since it's a big open room you know if he's watching TV then it's picking it up in the kitchen so um, and once I, and that, that's my problem with doing the voiceovers. I've got to find time to go hide in the bedroom so I can try and get a voiceover done. But the girls got finished up with their work today. And I just didn't really have much in the way of housework I needed to get done, so I thought I'd better take advantage of that while I could. not sure what kind of shape I'm going for here. I didn't really have a shape in mind. It's more about um, getting the colors blended in a way that I'm happy with. Like the color layout, I guess. The location of each of the colors. You know, I don't want to have it just like black coral vineyard. Um, you know, I want to have a good blend and mix and all of that, which I'm not getting quite what I wanted out of that, but that's okay. Um, so, oops, sometimes you accidentally come up with something better than you intended to start with. So we'll just hope that's going to be the case today. Oh, 
As you can see, that was starting to get a little thick in there, and I didn't want it to dry um, before I finished kind of moving it where I wanted it. So that's the reason I put a little alcohol down in there instead of back on the edge and blowing it in. I was fine with how the edges looked. I just wanted something back or to get it. Oh my goodness, I had ink on my finger. Well, I was just gonna try and rub that line out a touch. Sometimes if it's just the metallic, uh, can you all even see it? Uh, right there. Uh, you can just kind of rub it off, but that wouldn't come off, so I'll just have to wait and uh, do it with a little alcohol on a cotton swab. Just a very little. You just want it damp. You don't want it drippy. Um, that uh, will get those little, you can go back and touch it up when you're done with your painting and get all those off. Okay, so I'm just, I know I'm wasting time and that's driving y'all crazy, but uh, just debating on like what colors to do next and where to go, where to take my shape because I don't want to fill up the entire page. So let's do, mm, yeah, let's do a little more black. And this is how I get ink on my finger because I'm always putting it over the opening on the bottle. See, I try and wipe it a little bit, but it never all comes off. I don't have the patience to put the lids on and off of my bottles all the time, so. So I just leave the lid off and stick my finger over it to think I'm flying everywhere when I'm shaking it. I may end up doing one with just black and this rose because it looks really cool. To me, anyway. I think it's pretty neat looking. Oops. Don't want to start with that. Just once again, trying to get that dry. I don't, you all probably can't see it, but there's a like a bubble under the metallic there. Just where it's just wet ink still under there. So I want to get that pretty much as dry as I can so that uh, it doesn't start breaking apart and uh, spreading out as it dries. <sighs> Sorry, I'm doing a lot of sighing today, aren't I? got to be careful. I got all those little fingers of ink. If y'all haven't watched some of the videos where I've talked about that, um, I got my dryer 
over my ink a little too much, like directly over it. And that's part of what blows that out in different directions. Or if you just get it too close to it, no matter how you're holding it, if you get it too close to it, it'll do that. This is very interesting. Not sure that I would choose these colors again. I think if I had left the purple out and just done the coral and the black, it would have been really cool. Just very, I don't know what, intense looking. The, I'm not entirely sure how good the coral, I mean the purple, the vineyard color blends in there with it, but still pretty neat. Something different. Push that back a little bit. Soften that edge if I can. For those of you who are going to ask me, I have no idea what this little thing is called. It is not a stump or a blunt or whatever you want to call it that you use for shading. And that is not what it is. It's just some kind of little thing I picked up in the acrylic paint section at Hobby Lobby. Um would be, I mean, you could use it to, if you were doing acrylic painting, I guess you can drag it through and make some different shapes and whatnot in there with it. Did you need I don't want to overwork this and blend too much because then I will end up with no veining and all just um, metallic paint color, sort of, ink color, which is not what I'm going for. But this metallic, this rose has turned out to be much stronger than I was expecting it to be. Anyway, it, and cert, at certain angles, it really overpowers everything else. But it's still really cool looking at the time. You can see that, or maybe you can, that little bubble in there. Trying to get that at least partially dried just to make sure it doesn't sort of break open and spread ink where I don't want it. And it'll dry solid like that. All right, sorry about that. I stopped for one second to talk to my granddaughter Zoe <laughs> who thinks that I should just leave it alone <laughs> before I end up messing it up because she really likes the way it looks right now. She's over there giggling. 
<laughs> so I told her I was going to throw her under the bus. So any of you all who don't like it, you can blame it on her. Because <laughs> I asked her what she thought I needed to do to it. And her answer was, leave it alone. So <laughs> I'll go with Zoe's answer. All right, so I guess I'm done then. Um, I do, I like this, uh, the rose in there, but it is super overpowering. Um, it would re it's going to require a little bit of adjustment uh, on what I want a painting to look like when I use that, I think. And I, I will be trying some of the other. I bought like three or four different of the Ranger alloy colors. So I'll be trying some of those and see <clears throat> how they work. I can't remember which ones I bought. Sterling and... Uh, yeah, that's the only one I can remember at the moment. So, <laughs> anyway, I will be trying those out, um, over the next, I don't know, whenever. I'll probably be getting my brass back out and trying to make it do something right anyway. So, well, I hope that you all enjoyed this, and I'm sorry it was such a long wait. I will do my best not to, uh, make it quite so long until my next video. But no promises. You know how it is with me. I will do my best. So if you are subscribed um, or are planning to subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell because with the way my upload schedule is, it, there's no schedule. And that's that way at least, hopefully, you will get notified anytime that I upload a new video. All right, well, it was a lot of fun with you guys today, and I'll see you sometime soon. Love you all. Bye, everyone.